Ticks are not just a nuisance. They are carriers of serious diseases. When a tick bites your dog, it can transmit illnesses like Lyme disease, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, anaplasmosis, and ehrlichiosis. These conditions can lead to joint pain, fever, lethargy, and in severe cases, even organ failure. These resilient pests can be found in suburban backyards, city parks, and even on manicured lawns. They are experts at waiting for a host, a behavior called questing, where they climb onto blades of grass or shrubs and extend their front legs to grab onto a passing animal. When it comes to fighting ticks, veterinarians have a powerful arsenal of approved products designed to keep our dogs safe. One of the most popular options is oral medication. These are typically flavored chews or tablets given to your dog once a month or every three months. They work by entering your dog's bloodstream. So when a tick bites, it ingests the medication and dies quickly, often before it has a chance to transmit any disease. Many dogs see these as a tasty treat, making them an easy and mess-free option for owners. Another highly effective method is the spot-on treatment. These are liquid medications that you apply directly to the skin on your dog's back, usually between the shoulder blades. The oils in your dog's skin and coat help spread the product over their entire body, providing head-to-tail protection. Spot-on treatments typically kill ticks on contact, meaning the parasite doesn't even have to bite your dog to be eliminated. They are usually applied once a month and are a great option for owners who prefer a topical approach. It's crucial to let the application site dry completely and to keep other pets and children away until it does. For long-lasting, continuous protection, many pet owners turn to tick collars. Modern veterinary-approved collars are a far cry from the old dusty flea collars of the past. These advanced collars are designed to slowly and steadily release active ingredients over a period of several months, often up to eight. The ingredients spread through the natural oils on your dog's skin and coat, repelling and killing ticks before they can attach and bite. This set it and forget it, convenience makes them an excellent choice for busy families or for dogs who spend a significant amount of time outdoors, providing a constant shield against pests without the need for monthly applications. In certain situations, you might also consider using tick shampoos or sprays. These products are generally used for immediate short-term control rather than long-term prevention. For example, a medicated shampoo can be used to kill any ticks currently on your dog, especially if you've found a large number of them after a trip to a heavily infested area. Sprays can offer a quick layer of protection before a hike or a visit to the park. However, they are not a substitute for the reliable, long-lasting protection offered by oral medications, spot-on treatments, or collars. Think of them as supplemental tools in your comprehensive tick prevention strategy. Your first line of defense against ticks begins right at home, in your own backyard. Creating an environment that is unwelcome to these pests can dramatically reduce your dog's exposure. Ticks thrive in shady, moist, and overgrown areas. Your mission is to eliminate these havens. The single most effective step you can take is to keep your lawn mowed short. Ticks need humidity to survive and prefer the cover of tall grass. By keeping your grass trimmed, you expose them to the sun and dry air which they cannot tolerate. This simple act of regular lawn maintenance turns your yard into a far less hospitable place for ticks to wait for their next meal. Next, it's time to clean up the clutter. Ticks love hiding in piles of leaves, brush, and other yard debris. Rake up fallen leaves and clear away any piles of wood or brush where ticks and the small animals that carry them, like mice and chipmunks, might hide. Pay special attention to the edges of your yard, near wooded areas, stone walls, or ornamental gardens. These transitional zones are prime real estate for ticks. By maintaining a tidy yard, you remove their hiding spots and disrupt their life cycle. A clean yard is not just aesthetically pleasing, it is a critical component of a comprehensive tick control plan for your beloved pets. For yards with persistent and heavy tick populations, you might consider consulting with a professional pest control service about using acaricides, which are pesticides that specifically target ticks. When used correctly by a licensed professional, yard treatments can be a safe and effective way to reduce the tick population significantly. They can treat the perimeter of your yard and other high-risk areas. However, this should be done with caution, always ensuring the products used are safe for pets and following all instructions regarding how long your dog should stay off the treated lawn. A daily tick check is an essential part of your routine, especially after your dog has been outside. 
This hands-on patrol is your secondary line of defense and your best opportunity to find and remove a tick before it has time to transmit disease, a process that can take 24 to 48 hours. Make it a positive experience for your dog. Turn it into a special grooming or massage session after your evening walk. Use your fingers to slowly and carefully feel for any small bumps or lumps on your dog's entire body. When you perform your daily check, be thorough and systematic. Ticks are crafty and like to hide in warm, dark places where they are less likely to be discovered. Be sure to check in and around the ears, under the collar, between the toes, and in the armpits and groin area. Don't forget to inspect their eyelids, lips, and under their tail. Run your fingers against the direction of hair growth so you can feel the skin more easily. Pay close attention to any small, dark specks that don't brush away. An attached tick can range in size from a tiny poppy seed to a larger grape if it has been feeding for a while. If you find a tick, don't panic. It's important to remove it correctly and safely to prevent the tick's mouth parts from breaking off in the skin and to avoid squeezing the tick's body, which can push disease-causing bacteria into your dog. The best tool for the job is a pair of fine-tipped tweezers or a specialized tick removal tool, which you can get from your veterinarian or a pet supply store. Grasp the tick as close to your dog's skin as possible. You want to grab its head, not its swollen body. Pull upward with steady, even pressure. Do not twist, jerk, or use folk remedies like petroleum jelly or a hot match, as these can be ineffective and cause more harm. Once the tick is removed, your job isn't quite finished. Dispose of the tick by placing it in a small container with rubbing alcohol or by flushing it down the toilet. Do not crush it with your fingers. After removal, clean the bite area on your dog's skin with rubbing alcohol or soap and water and be sure to wash your hands thoroughly as well. It's a good idea to make a note of the date you found the tick. Monitor your dog and the bite site over the next few weeks. If you notice any redness, swelling, or if your dog seems unwell, contact your veterinarian immediately and let them know you recently removed a tick. The fight against ticks is constantly evolving, with scientists and researchers working tirelessly to develop new and better ways to protect our pets. One of the most exciting areas of research is the development of anti-tick vaccines. While a vaccine for Lyme disease in dogs already exists, scientists are working on creating broader vaccines that could protect against multiple tick-borne diseases at once. Even more innovative is the concept of a vaccine that targets the tick itself. These anti-tick vaccines would cause a dog's immune system to attack the tick's saliva, preventing it from feeding properly and blocking the transmission of pathogens, offering a revolutionary new layer of defense. Technology is also playing a bigger role in parasite control. Researchers are exploring the use of nanotechnology to create more effective and targeted preventatives. Imagine microscopic particles that can deliver tick-killing ingredients more efficiently or create longer-lasting repellents on a dog's coat. These advancements could lead to products that require less frequent application but provide even more robust protection. Other technological approaches include sophisticated data mapping that helps predict tick hotspots based on climate and environmental data, allowing vets and owners to be more proactive about prevention during high-risk periods. There is also a growing interest in harnessing the power of nature to combat ticks. Scientists are studying a wide range of plant-based compounds, known as botanicals, for their repellent and acaricidal properties. Essential oils from plants like cedarwood, geranium, and lemongrass have shown promise in repelling ticks. While many of these natural options are not yet as potent or long-lasting as their pharmaceutical counterparts, ongoing research aims to isolate the most effective compounds and formulate them into safe, reliable products. This could provide new options for pet owners who are looking for more natural alternatives to complement their vet-approved prevention plan. The future of tick prevention will likely involve a more integrated approach, combining these innovative strategies with the proven methods we use today. We might see a future where a dog is protected by a long-lasting vaccine, wears a collar embedded with nanotechnology-enhanced repellents, and receives supplemental protection from a plant-based spray before a hike. This multi-pronged strategy will make it even harder for ticks to pose a threat. As science progresses, our ability to keep our canine companions safe from these dangerous pests will only continue to improve, giving us more ways to ensure their long and healthy lives. Navigating the world of tick prevention can feel overwhelming, but you don't have to do it alone. Your veterinarian is your most important partner and your most reliable source of information. 
They understand your dog's specific health history, breed predispositions, and lifestyle. They also know which ticks are prevalent in your geographic area and which products are most effective against them. Before starting or switching any preventative, always have a conversation with your vet. They can help you weigh the pros and cons of oral medications, spot-on treatments and collars, recommending the perfect strategy tailored specifically for your four-legged family member. It is absolutely critical to remember that products made for dogs should only be used on dogs. Never, ever use a tick preventative formulated for dogs on a cat. Some common ingredients in dog products, particularly those containing permethrin, are extremely toxic to cats and can cause severe neurological damage or even death. Always read the label carefully and double check that you are using the correct product for the correct species and weight. Store preventatives safely and out of reach of all pets and children. Following these simple safety rules is essential to ensuring that your attempts to protect one pet don't accidentally harm another. Once you and your vet have chosen a product, following the instructions to the letter is paramount for both safety and effectiveness. If it's a monthly chew, set a reminder on your calendar so you never miss a dose. If it's a spot-on treatment, apply it exactly as directed to ensure it spreads properly and works as intended. For a collar, make sure it is fitted correctly, snug enough to make contact with the skin, but loose enough to fit two fingers underneath. Using a product incorrectly can reduce its effectiveness, leaving your dog vulnerable, or could potentially lead to adverse reactions. Consistency and correctness are key. Finally, remember that tick prevention is often a year-round commitment. In many parts of the country, ticks can remain active even during the milder days of winter. A single warm spell is all it takes for them to emerge and start looking for a host. Don't let your guard down just because there's snow on the ground. Talk to your veterinarian about whether year-round prevention is recommended for your area. By staying informed, partnering with your vet, and remaining diligent with your chosen preventative strategy, you can confidently protect your dog. Keep learning, stay vigilant, and enjoy every